نمدون صلی اللہ رسول الکریم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرالی صدری و یسر علی امری و حلو نقطت من لسانی یفقہ و قولی صدق اللہ العظیم موز خاتری نظرات اس وقت پاکستان کے بارے میں امریکہ کی کانگریس کی سب کمیٹی جو ہے ساؤت ایشیا اس کے سامنے ڈانل لو جو ہے وہ پیش ایک خدمت ہے اس نے اب تک اپنا بیان جو ہے وہ جو کلی پیس میں آ چکا تھا وہ پڑھ کر سنایا ہے اور سوالات اور جوابات شروع ہو رہے ہیں جن سے دو سوال ہو چکے ہوئے ہیں میں تھوڑا سا انٹروڈکشن سنا دوں پھر اس کے بعد سوالات کی طرف ان کا مدارس تلے جائیں گے اور پھر اس کے بعد تفسرہ کریں گے اس کو اس کو اوپن کیا تھا ان کے جو ریپبلکن سینیٹر ہیں ویلسن جو ان کے سربراہ ہیں اس کمیٹی کے اور انہوں نے اپنی یاد داشتیں و داشتیں بتائیں کہ میں پاکستان کے اندر میرے والد جو تھے سیکنڈ ورلڈ وار میں تھے اور وہ جو تھے وہ اس علاقے کے اندر کولاچی کے اندر بھی وہ کہیں آتے جاتے رہے ہیں اور پھر اس کے بعد ساتھ انہوں نے ایک اور بھی گفتگو کی کہ میں بھی ایک دفعہ دو ہزار پانچ کے اندر سلاب زدگان کی امداد کے دوران آیا تھا اور ایک انہوں نے اپنی تصویر بھی شو کی نظیر کے ساتھ کسی سپر سٹور کے اندر ان کی ملاقات بھی ہوئی تھی اور لیکن اس کے ساتھ ساتھ اصل میں باتیں جو ہیں وہی ہیں کہ جو کہ ہم گزشتہ دو ایک تین دن سے کر رہے ہیں کہ امریکن اس وقت یہ سارا جو میلہ لگا ہے یہ پاکستان کو چائنی ہے اس کے انفلنس سے باہر نکالنے کے لیے ہے سب سے زیادہ جو بات کی جا رہی ہے وہ پاکستان کا کیس پیش کیا جا رہا ہے کہ پاکستان اس وقت معاشی طور پر تباہی کی جسے کہتے ہیں دہانے پہ کھڑا ہے اور اس تباہی کے دہانے میں اس کی جو ڈیٹ کی وجہ ہے اس میں ڈونلڈ نوئے بھی کہا ہے کہ ستر فیصد جو ہمارا جی ڈی پی ہے اس سے زیادہ ہم نے اس کا دینا ہے اس کا دینا ہے ستر فیصد کے قریب ہم نے کرزہ دینا ہے اور اس وقت کو اس نے کہا ہے کہ تیتر فیصد کے قریب جو ہم ریونیو اکٹھا کریں گے ٹیکس اکٹھا کریں گے وہ ہم کرزے کی کس طرح کر دیں کس سال کی لیکن وہ کہتا یہ ہے کہ یہ بیسیکلی چین کی کم اور آپ اندازہ کریں کہ چین کے بارے میں کوئی اور لفظ استعمال نہیں ہو رہا ریپبلک آف چائنا نے استعمال ہو رہا چین کی چین کی حکومت انہوں نے یہ کہا ہے کہ یہ چین جو ہے اس کی کمرس پارٹی آف چائنا یوں لگتا ہے کہ آج سے چالیس پینتالیس سال پہلے کے اس دور میں چلے گئے ہیں کہ جس زمانے کے اندر امریکہ کے اندر اسی طرح کی بحثیں ہو رہی تھیں اور اس وقت کہا جاتا تھا کہ وہ دیکھو کیوبا کے اندر جو ہے وہ کمیونسٹ پارٹی آف رشیا وہ آ گئی ہے یا نکراگوا کے اندر آ گئی ہے یا چلی کے اندر آ گئی ہے تو ہمیں کمیونسٹوں کے خلاف بہت بڑا جہاد کرنا ہے اور اس کے لیے ہمارا پارٹنر کون ہوگا اس لیے ویتنام کے اندر جب وہ گئے تھے تو اس وقت بھی یہی بحثیں ہو رہی تھیں اور یہی اس طرح کے سوالات کیے جا رہے تھے جو سب سے حیران کن بات جو دوسرا ان کا سینیٹر ہے جو فلپس وہ بھی ریپبلکن کا سینٹر تھا اس نے بھی یہی اسی طرح کی گفتگو جو انہوں نے کی ہے لیکن ساتھ جو چیئرمین نے اس سے بات کرتے ہوئے انہوں نے یہ کہا ہے کہ ہمارے لیے پاکستان کیوں پریورٹی ہے اور اس نے بڑی تفصیل سے بتایا ہے کہ پاکستان ایک طویل عرصے سے یہ ہمارے ساتھ اس کے ریلیشن شپ رہے ہیں اتنے لوگ شاید کسی اور پاکستان دنیا میں کسی جگہ نہیں مرے ہوں جتنے پاکستان کے اندر مرے ہیں لیکن ڈونلڈ لو نے جس وقت اپنا بیان پڑھ کے سنایا ہے تو اس بیان پڑھ کے سنانے کے بعد ان سے پوچھا گیا ہے کہ پاکستان کے بارے میں آپ کے ریلیشن شپ کی بیسز کیا ہے اسے دو چیزیں بتائیں اس نے کہا افغانستان کے اندر چونکہ طالبان کی حکومت آ گئی ہے اور پھر ہمیں خطرہ ہے کہ پاکستان جو ہے وہ ٹیررزم جو ہے اس کے اوپر اس کا سب زیادہ افیکٹ ہوگا تو ہم چاہتے ہیں کہ افغانستان کے مقابلے میں ہماری جو ہے وہاں تعلقات پاکستان کے ٹھیک رہیں اور دوسرا یہ ہے کہ پاکستان کے تعلقات ہم تب ٹھیک ہو سکتے ہیں کہ پاکستان ایک معاشی طور پر سٹیبل ملک ہو اور پاکستان معاشی طور پر تب سٹیبل ہو سکتا ہے جب وہ چین کے ڈیٹ سے نکلے چین کے ڈیٹ ٹریپ کے اندر وہ شامل ہو چکا ہوا یہاں پر اس نے ایک اور جو اہم بات کی ہے پھر انہوں نے اس کے بارے میں پوچھا کہ الیکشن کے بارے میں تو انہوں نے کہا جی الیکشن کے بارے میں جو آپ نے جو آپ کے بارے میں آتا الیکشن سے پہلے جو اپنا سائفر کے بارے میں اس نے کہا یہ بالکل جھوٹ ہے سائفر میں اسد نے بتا دیا ہے کہ اس کو کوئی تھریٹ ویٹ کوئی نہیں تھا کانسپریسی کوئی نہیں تھا تھریٹ کا اس نے کوئی انکار نہیں کیا کانسپریسی ایسی کوئی نہیں تھی اور یہ ساری ساری چیز جو ہے یہ انہوں نے ان کو بھی اندازہ ہے پاکستان کی حکومت دنی جانے کا مقصد یہ ہے کہ ہم تو صرف تھریٹ کرنے والے ہیں کام تو سارا آپ نے خود کیا ہے اور باقی کا انہوں نے کہا کانسپریسی نہیں آ کے کون سا انہوں نے چیزیں کرنی تھی باقی کچھ کرنا تھا انہوں نے باقی یہاں پر کا کام کیا اس کے بعد جو اہم ترین جو بات ہوئی ہے کہ شور مچ گیا پورے اس کے اندر اور شور مچا ہے اور کچھ دیر کے لیے ویسے لگ رہا تھا کہ پاکستان کی کوئی اسمبلی ہوتی ہے اس کے اندر سب کچھ جا رہا ہے لیکن آخر میں اس نے دو دوبارہ اس نے ٹیک اوور کیا ہے جس وقت اس نے فلپ نے اس نے اور اس نے کہا ہے کہ ہم آپ کیا ہم کلیئر ہیں کہ پاکستان میں جو بھی حکمران آئے بھرا آئے کالا آئے چور آئے کچھ آئے اس کے بعد ہم اس کو ہم جو ہے نا اس کے ساتھ تعلقات بنائیں گے ہمیں اس س
all three that were speaking out. Thank you. They're wearing red in case you can't figure out who they are. The committee will suspend while the Capitol Police restore order. उन्होंने उसको चुके सुबह हालात जो है थोड़े से खराब हो गए हैं पीछे एक दो जगह से मुझे इमरान खान के नाम की आवाज़ें आई हैं तो उसके ऊपर उन्होंने कहा कि कुछ देर के लिए हम इसको कार्रवाई को रोकते हैं और यह है उसके बाद हम उसको दोबारा इस कार्रवाई को शुरू करेंगे सिचुएशन इस वक्त असल में यह है कि पाकिस्तान के साथ वो डील करना चाहते हैं और वो बात जो हम गुजत तीन दो तीन दिन से कैसे चले आ रहे हैं कि वो चाह रहे हैं कि पाकिस्तान एक दफ़ा चीन को खुदा हाफिस कह ले यही वजह है कि कल जो मैंने वी लॉक किया था उस वी लॉक के अंदर मैंने बताया था कि आईएमएफ को बकायदा ये लिख के दे दिया गया है कि हम चाइना के साथ किसी किस्म की भी सी पैक के साथ वो तलक जो हैं उस तरह के नहीं रखेंगे और हम उनकी डेट पेमेंट भी नहीं कहेंगे मेरा ख्याल दोबारा शुरू हो गया इसको एक दफ़ा सुन लेते हैं जी that share our interests and values as nations like china and russia and violent extremist organizations threaten global stability it is critical for us interests for south central asia countries such as pakistan and india to continue developing stable and transparent democracies that's why i introduced house resolution 901 with my esteemed colleague from michigan representative dan kildy the resolution affirms us support for democracy and human rights in pakistan I'm looking forward to H Res 901's consideration later this afternoon as the House Foreign Affairs Committee marks it up. As I am sure you're aware, Pakistan recently conducted the largest election in its history, but these were unfortunately marred by allegations of fraudulent activity and electoral violence. Watchdog groups raised the alarm over reports of political repression, suspension of interest access on election day, <coughs> delays in election results, and more. Currently the Election Commission of Pakistan is reviewing many of the election results in individual parliamentary constituencies and the Pakistani judicial system is investigating and adjudicating adjudicating irregularities. In fact, the ambassador from Pakistan came to my office yesterday and talked about what they were going to try to do to mitigate these problems. With all this being said, there must be full, credible and independent audit of these election results. Secretary Lu, do you think and the state department have confidence in pakistan's judicial process and its ability to adjudicate claims of wrongdoing thank you representative mccormick uh, if i might just before i answer that question just say a word about uh, protests we have just tremendous respect for the pakistani american community um, we we uh, pride ourselves in the state department and in my office about talking to um Pakistani Americans because they are the people in our vast country who care the most about this relationship they have something genuine to offer because of their deep knowledge and and the deep concern they have of the future of the country and so i i i want to join the voices of this committee to say how important their involvement is how much we respect them we try to listen to them at every opportunity i hope they are also listening to all of you and to those of us who are trying to guide this policy Absolutely and I will say respectful conversation is always paramount for me. I've met with constituencies. I have people who've come here from all over the United States that I've met with in my own district on this topic. There is a time and a place for everyone to speak and that's order that's something that we worked hard for. One of the things that I have faced over these last 2 years is some of these allegations, unfounded allegations, have resulted in regular death threats against me, threats against my family, involvement of local police. There is a line of acceptability and I do think at times some of the free speech has verged into threats of violence which is not acceptable in our society no 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 sir ne bani jo is baat ki hai ke ek ilzamat mere par mukhsas ke lagaye jate hain aur main bada threatened feel karta hu donald nur sahab ka sahab ka andaaza hi nahi hai ke pakistan mein hum pe kya beet rahi hai और वो इस तरह की ज़्यादा बातें वो कह रहे थे काफ़ी सारे लोग जो हैं अपने कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी से उनको देखने आए हुए हैं लेकिन वो अब इस वक्त जवाब दे रहे हैं सुनते हैं वो क्या जवाब देता है लेकिन उस जरा सी जुम्बश भी वो बर्दाश्त नहीं कर पा रहे और उनका जो इस वक्त एजेंडा था वही है कि पाकिस्तान को हम कैसे चाइना के ट्रैप से निकाल के अपने साथ में और वहाँ जो भी मर्जी हुकूमत करता है हमें इसकी परवाह नहीं ओवर दीज एलेक्शन इन टू एक्ट इन नॉन पार्सन वे 
we all will work <coughs> through this process very, very closely. As to whether they will do it, it's up to the Pakistani people to make sure their institutions are functional and that are upholding their constitution. Thank you. And do you think that the Pakistani government has the ability to continue to improve and be accountable and be a good partner going forward uh, as the United States needs them to be in that region? Pakistan is such an important partner of ours. They are a major non-NATO ally. We have deep نیشنل انگریزی at protests and rallies leading up to the election. As you, as you know, Pakistan is routinely rated near the bottom of the world in terms of women's <coughs> inclusion, justice, safety, and security. So can you talk to us about how the State Department is working to address gender-based violence and highlight and improve the safety, the rights, the inclusion, and representation of women in Pakistan's democracy? Representative Manning, such an important question. I wish I had my wife here sitting next to me. I met my wife in Pakistan. She was an American refugee worker working with Afghans. But her, um, her academic subject matter uh, of specialty is gender-based violence. And she has worked in Pakistan on this very issue. What I would say about Pakistan, its human rights, um, the rights of women, I, I say about many countries, but I, I really mean it, which is, We as foreign partners aren't going to be able to change Pakistan. Who will change Pakistan? Pakistani people will. And we see that very strong desire of women across Pakistan to be heard, to be represented, and to have their rights respected by the institutions of government as well as by the rest of society. I see great victories in Pakistan every day. Um, there have, as I mentioned, double the number of women elected to this parliament. And do you, see, do you see that as a, as a positive um, moment that will actually give hope and perhaps achieve new things for women in Pakistan? I, I see the emergence of female leaders in Pakistan at every level as being the examples that will lead their society forward. You, you are entirely right. At the village level in Pakistan, lives for women are incredibly dif difficult. I see more women today in senior positions in business. I see them on the high court. I see them in parliament. I see them as ministers. Senator Khatun, and they have asked the question from Donald Lourdes, how is the situation in Pakistan? How is the situation in the gender balance? And how is the situation in the gender balance? Prosecure. کوئی ریفرنس نہیں ہے اس وقت کہ پاکستان میں کتنی خواتین جیل میں ہیں اور کتنی سیاسی ورکر جیل میں ہیں اور وہ ڈینل نور صاحب بڑے مدد سے جیسے امریکنس کہتے ہیں میری بیوی اصل میں پاکستان میں ہے اور وہ بتا بہتر بتا سکتی ہے وہ کام کر رہی ہے وہاں پر افران ریفیوجیز کے ساتھ چیز ہے امریکن ورکر ایڈ ورکر ورز ہے اور وہ اس کو آپ کو سے لے کر میں لے ہے کہ ویلیج کی عورت تو جو ہے بہت ہے اپنا پسماندہ ہے وہ بہت حالات اس کے خراب ہیں لیکن شہروں میں بہت زیادہ آگے بڑھ ایک جسے کہتے ہیں ہومے پیتھ قسم سی گفتگو ہو رہی ہے اس وقت پورے سارے سیشن کے اندر تو فائنس and so one of the things that I've seen over the course of my career and particularly in Pakistan is the emergence of these micro finance projects because largely women owned interests businesses are not the massive textile mills or the steel plants. They're small businesses. Their businesses run out of homes or small shops in local communities. If women have access to that financing, women will succeed in business. USAID, the EU, <coughs> the United Kingdom, Japan, Australia, many, many of Pakistan's 
donor friends are investing in those types of businesses, while the PRC and other countries are investing in literally roads to nowhere that bleed the Pakistani people of their resources year after year. So we've certainly talked about giving women access to more uh, financial opportunities in this committee. I hope we will continue to do that <coughs> in the future. Because you've mentioned China, let me walk into this question with the little time I have left. Um, Pakistan faces a, a, a grave challenge, has faced grave challenges in recent years from flooding, from indebtedness to creditors like China. Um, what more can we do um, to counterbalance what China is doing um, and the debt that they're helping create in Pakistan? We can compete. China के मुकाबले के में पाकिस्तान के लिए कि उनके डेट चेस को खत्म करें इस बार उन लोगों को सुन लीजिएगा तब पे चप्पा करते हैं। We offer private sector-led investment for profit-making enterprises that benefit local people and not just the lender countries. Thank you. My time has expired. I yield back. Thank you very much, uh, Congresswoman Kathy Manning. Ye, ye, इसमें देखें कि आप खुद आपको अंदाजा होगा कि बिल्कुल अंदाजा नहीं है कि पाकिस्तान में दो साल के अंदर क्या बीती है और पाकिस्तान की तारीख के अंदर किस तरह के खवातीन के साथ उसने सलूक हुआ हुआ है और किस तरह वहाँ जो जेलों में हैं और क्या उनके साथ क्या घरों के अंदर कैसे पुलिस वहाँ घुसती है और कैसे औरतों को उठा कोई नहीं उनको सिर्फ यही है कि वो जेंडर बैलेंस हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है उसको अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ मिल रही है कि नहीं मिल रही हैं औरतें जो शाना बिशाना काम कर रही हैं कि नहीं कर रही हैं ये बस और फिर उसके बाद वही सवाल जो कि हम चाइना को कैसे हम पाकिस्तान को मदद दे सकते हैं in uh, developing economic ties with the people of Pakistan. With that, we now proceed to Congressman Mike Lawler. Uh, thank you, Mr. Liu. Uh, I know many of my colleagues touched on uh, the election irregularities and some of the concerns about it, so I want to segue uh, a little bit. Uh, just a few weeks ago, the government of Pakistan approved plans to begin construction on a pipeline to transport natural gas from Iran to Pakistan. Iran constructed, uh, constructed its side of the pipeline years ago, and now Pakistan has finally decided to move forward. Uh, Mr. Liu, do you view this pipeline as Pakistan aligning itself uh, with Iran? I mean, it's a really interesting question, Representative Lawler, because Pakistan and Iran just traded missile and drone <coughs> strikes a few weeks ago. So um, it has um, been true over time that Pakistan and Iran have had ups and downs in their relationship, they're at a pretty low point today. We are tracking this uh, planned pipeline between Iran and Pakistan. Honestly, I don't know where the financing for such a project would come from. I don't think many international um, donors would be interested in funding such an endeavor. We've also not heard from the government of Pakistan a desire for um, any a waiver of American sanctions that would certainly result from such a project. Instead, what we are undertaking in the administration is to have a conversation with Pakistan. What are Pakistan's other alternatives? How can we compete for that business? Where can they find <laughs> other Pakistan or Iran agreement on Ketaman Hua or Kibo pipeline se wants a gas to have a lake in a or skibare me up kya kare the Donald Express direct concern with the Pakistani government on this issue? We are in consultation with the Pakistani government on this issue, yes, sir. Okay. Um, I mean, my concern is that Iran is the greatest state sponsor of terror. They use the illicit Iranian petroleum uh, oil trade uh, to finance terrorism. Uh, <coughs> since Joe Biden took office, Nearly 88 billion in increased revenue uh, has resulted because of lax enforcement on sanctions. Uh, it's why I introduced the SHIP Act uh, to increase secondary sanctions on uh, the purchase of Iranian petroleum. Uh, <coughs> it passed through the House overwhelmingly with bipartisan support and has since stalled in the Senate uh, because the White House doesn't want it. Uh, so, from my vantage point, when we talk about other alternatives that uh, Pakistan may be able uh, to engage on, why don't we start by cracking down on the illicit oil trade? Why is the administration taking a very lax approach to cracking down? 
کہ ایران نے اٹھاسی ارب ڈالر جو ہیں وہ تیل سے کمائے ہیں اور سارے کے سارے جو ہیں وہ اس میں اندر خرچ کر رہا ہے ٹیررزم کو سپورٹ کرتے ہیں ہم کہ ٹریڈ جو ہے اس پہ قبضوں ان کو اندازہ نہیں ہے کہ یہ کون خریدتا ہے تیل انڈیا خریدتا ہے ایران سے تیل اور کوئی نام نہیں لیا جا رہا اور یہ ہماری ڈپلومیٹک لیول کی صورت حال ہے پاکستان کے اندر کہ پاکستان کا تو چلو اسمگل ہوتا ہے انڈین تیل If I could answer your question, I... Across the... Well, you went in a total non sequitur. I fully support the efforts by the U.S. government to prevent this pipeline from happening. We are working towards that goal. This is the most important thing that the American government will be the most important thing that the oil and gas pipeline will be the most important thing that it will be the most important thing. This is a very big statement that will come up. Based on that suspicion. So uh, I think it is well known that um, previous governments of Pakistan have had close relations with the Taliban. Currently, the greatest terrorist threat faced by the people of Pakistan emanates from Afghanistan. And the relationship between Pakistan and the Taliban is about the same as the relationship between the United States and the Taliban. It is very strained and difficult, we have a very important dialogue with the Pakistani government about the Taliban, how to help shape its behavior, how to help make sure the Taliban upholds its commitments. Last question, why was, the, why was Pakistan <coughs> excluded from the administration's Indo-Pacific strategy? Oh. Sir, it, it's um, a way that we define the Indo-Pacific, and it's not only this administration, it's the last administration as well, For whatever reason, I suspect it has to do with COCOM authority between the Indo-Pacific Command and Central Command. The dividing line of the Indo-Pacific is the line between Pakistan and India. Look, this is the most important point. That he has asked this question, that Pakistan has removed the containment of China's Indo-Pacific strategy. Why did you remove it from India? آج آپ انڈیا آپ کا صحیح طرح چین کے خلاف ساتھ نہیں رہا اگر آپ نے پاکستان کو ساتھ ملایا ہوتا تو آپ اس وقت ساتھ ہوتے اس نے پھر وہ جغرافیہ جغرافیہ میں جواب دینے کی کوشش کی ہے لیکن وہ بات وہی ہے کہ جو چار ملکوں کی انڈو سپیسفک سٹریٹیجی بنی تھی کوائڈ بنا تھا لگتا یہ ہے کہ پاکستان پہ شاید دباؤ جالا جائے کہ تم اس معاد کے اندر سے عمل ہو اور یہ اس کی انٹیکیشن شکھائی جا رہی ہے بتائی جا رہی ہے پاکستان I'm particularly focused on Sindh and the disappearances there, the forced conversions of young girls forced to convert and then marry old men. And we've seen throughout Pakistan a blasphemy law that allows a person to complain and all of a sudden someone who's not Muslim usually is subject to detention and even execution. But the greatest problem is Dr. Afridi. That is something we discussed in this room last decade again and again. He's in jail for 14 years. We released Victor Aboot to get an American back. And the message to everyone in the world, and this is a national security risk, is don't cooperate with the CIA. Because if you're an American national, we'll move heaven and earth to get you out. But if you're the one foreign national who did the most for America of anyone this century, you will rot in jail. The Pakistanis have said that they will uh, do a Siddiqui for a Afridi trade. Uh, Ms. Siddiqui uh, didn't kill any Americans, tried to, ought to be in jail, ha is, is now perhaps uh, in, uh, incapacitated anyway. Will we trade Siddiqui for Afridi? And if not, Will we uh, 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 ban from entry into this country those who are holding her hostage, uh, Dr. Freedy hostage? Or do we just turn our yeah, back on any foreign national? I have no idea what's going on in Pakistan. The CIA has done one thing for Freedy. 
और वो आपको कह रहे हैं कि जी आफिया के साथ हमें स्वैप करो और ये करो बयान पढ़ते हैं ये वो लेकिन सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि आप या तो इससे अफरीदी को वापस ले कर अगर आप बहुत बड़ा मुल्क हैं या फिर उन सारे लोगों का ट्रेवल बैन लगाएं जिन्होंने अफरीदी को बांध रखा हुआ है अब पाकिस्तान तो कह देगा जी वो तो सुपर जेल ने रखा हुआ है आप क्या करें ठीक Afridi's in jail. You haven't done anything about it, and he's the man that helped us get Bin Laden. But let's let let's move on. Sir, yeah, Afridi, I'm going to tell you, it's the same as when Mukhbari did it. Sam Bin Laden did it, and he was caught. He was polio victim. He was caught. So, after that, the warm, warm bath was there. East, where hundreds of American citizens are prohibited from leaving Pakistan, will we treat them the same way we deal with everyone else who's wrongfully detained in Russia and elsewhere? What are we doing to get American citizens who have not been even charged with a crime out of Pakistan if they want to leave? Representative Sherman, we work every day on behalf of American citizens in Pakistan. As you note, there are some laws that have put undue restrictions on Americans. We have had a very positive But hundreds, track record. But hun I mean, hundreds are still there, and the IMF loan goes forward, and the we allow. the top uh, generals in pakistan to visit the united states when american citizens can't leave pakistan and come to the united states we then have the vote tabulation system um, and they have banned the bat the symbol of the pti then they banned the batsman and uh, this is uh, uh, i mean there have been flaws in other pakistani elections but this is uh, perhaps uh, the greatest uh, flaw uh and we're told and the pakistani ambassadors told me well this is just the ordinary working of the pakistani judicial system that's the same judicial system that has dr afridi in jail for 14 years for getting bin laden do we have faith that um se gaya ke maine imran khan ka ke sabse badtareen kaam ye ne ye kiya hai usse pucha donald trump se कि उन्होंने बल्ले का निशान छीना है तो उसने कहा ये रूटीन है हमारे यहाँ जुडिशल सिस्टम की तो उसने कहा ये वही जुडिशल सिस्टम है जिसने फ्रीजी को चौदह साल के लिए जेल है ये तुम्हारा जुडिशल सिस्टम तो इसका मतलब ये है कि इस वक्त असल इशू ये है कि कहाँ कहाँ आपने अमेरिका को पिंच किया है अमरीका चाहता यही है कि उसको पिंच को आप वापस करें हम वो ठीक हो जाएंगे the अमेरिकन एम्बेसडर नीड्स टू विजिट इमरान खान इन प्रिजन एंड मेक श्योर that he lives to tell the tale of how he was wrongfully so kya ke hum kehte hain ke pak american ambassador chahe aur imran khan se jail mein ja ke mile aur usse puri kahani leke aaye taaki usko bataya jaye aur usko pure hall mein taaliyan bachi Baird is not here so I'm the next in line um secretary lou could you provide insight in the involvement of the military in the politics of pakistan <laughs> hold on बहुत अच्छा सवाल है और ये कमाल है कि बताएं डोनल्ड रू के पाकिस्तान की सियासत के अंदर आर्मी का कितना रोल है और आप देखें वहां डेमोक्रेटिक हैं वो लोग लार्जेस्ट ऑफ एनी मेजोरिटी मुस्लिम कंट्री द यूएस मिलिटरी हैज हिस्टोरिकली हैड वेरी क्लोज रिलेशंस विद द पाकिस्तान मिलिटरी आर जनरल्स एंड देयर जनरल्स हैव ट्रेन टुगेदर डेकेड आफ्टर डेकेड इट इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ पाकिस्तान culture i have lived in pakistan i have seen that for myself the pakistan military is an important institution we respect in this administration and all past american administrations the constitutional principle that the pakistan military must be kept under civilian control it must be answerable to the president usne kaha hai ki hamare talqat bahut acche hain agar ke bahut sare mulkon ke andar hote hain aur hamare generals aapas mein ikatthe trained hote rahe hain lekin ek baat hum tay kar rahe hain कि पाकिस्तान की फौज जो है सिविलियन कंट्रोल के अंदर हो अभी भी है वैसे तो उनको अमेरिकन को पता नहीं है अभी तक और जिस तरह है सबको नजर आते हैं नंबर ऑफ इलेक्शन इरेगुलरिटीजेकिंग राइट नाउ इज अ मॉनिटरिंग ऑफ हाउ द डेमोक्रेटिक इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ पाकिस्तान विल एड्रेस दो स्ट्रॉन्ग लेटर is not doing a whole heck of a lot i would tell you that this country needs to start using its economic might to correct some of these wrongs 
these people are being mistreated. I, you know, I, I'm not much on bureaucrats. I don't like writing letters. I like delivering it personally, and I think that's something we could do. Um, did the U.S. ask for former Prime Minister Imran Khan's removal after he visited Russia? Uh, that uh, we did not, sir. Okay. There are people who believe you were involved in the regime change in Pakistan. Can you speak on that? कितना वादे सवाल है कि लोग कहते हैं कि तुम रजीम चेंज में मुलाल हो गए तुम बताओ क्या है फिर कहा कि ये कि जो उसके रूस के दौरे की वजह से है क्या तुम कहोगे कुछ और साथ उसने कहा है कि क्या हम हम उस उस अपने इकोनॉमिक नाइफ यानी हम माशी चाकू को इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकते कि पाकिस्तान को हम ठीक करें पाकिस्तान बीम विथ हेल्ड बिकॉज पाकिस्तान रिफ्यूज टू वोट अगेंस्ट द रशियन इन्वेजन ऑफ यूक्रेन एट द यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली नो सर उसने ये कहा है कि जी आप चूंकि पाकिस्तान ने फिर किया था इसलिए आपने किया है बड़े जवाब दिया वैसे जैसे डिप्लोमेट करते नो सर ओके Hang on for a second, Charles. I'm not used to this. All right. Well, I'll, I'll end mine then. I'm I'll, Representative Schneider from Illinois. Uh, thank you, Chair uh, uh, Member Chutton. Uh, oh wait, I'm sorry. It's not you. It's Almos. I'm sorry. Do y'all want to fight it out or can no, I? No. Go ahead. Okay. I apologize. I'm I'm new at this. That's why they don't let me do this very often. Well, you're doing a great job, Mr. Chairman. That's just because I recognized you. So go ahead. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you to uh, Ranking Member Phillips, and greetings, uh, Assistant Secretary Liu. Uh, I know we've touched on uh, some of the election <coughs> issues before, but like many other uh, members of this committee, I'm concerned, uh, concerned by the trends, but also concerned by the elections specifically. Uh, as we know, in early February, uh, the elections were held after a nearly three-month delay that raised serious concerns about the democratic process in Pakistan. I, I also know that the State Department joined other <coughs> international election observers in expressing concern that the election included undue restrictions on freedoms of expression, association, uh, and, and assembly. So, you know, I want to reiterate my personal concern. Uh, the incoming that I've received has uh, really been uh, uh, illuminating and suggested that there's more that we can do. I can share uh, the, the, the chair's urging in, in uh, his uh, recent uh, remarks that our country uses uh, its levers uh, to, to ensure that uh, democracy uh, is upheld. Um, that's also why uh, I'm proud to co-sponsor House Resolution 901. Uh, this resolution reaffirms the House of Representatives' strong support for democracy in Pakistan and urges the government of Pakistan to uphold democracy and protect uh, fundamental rights. But as we you know, look more broadly uh, at human rights in, in Pakistan, uh, the, the State Department, uh, your, your agency's most re recent human rights report, highlighted significant uh, human rights challenges in Pakistan, including restrictions on freedom of expression and freedom of the press. Credible threats of violence, <coughs> harassment, abductions, and killings by security forces, political parties, and other groups have led citizens and journalists to self-censor uh, their speech for their own safety. The State Department found that the Pakistani government's failure to investigate and prosecute attacks on free speech and the press have effectively led to restrictions on, <coughs> on, on, on free speech and the press in a very dramatic way. I, you know, really what I want to hear is how can and how will the United States work with the Pakistani government to support meaningful change to promote freedom of speech and freedom of the press? <laughs> Sir, I, I have the... a resolution Pakistan strongly democratic process ko hum support karte hain aur democratic process nahi hai ki election ho gaye hain ki wahan par jo hai logon ko freedom of expression kitna hai press pe azadi kitni hai logon ko brutalities kaise roki ja sakti hain sari cheezon ke andar ab jo dekhein don't lose sab kya jawab the of voices there is actually competition in the media with respect to things that are said and not said as well as in social media and so one of the most damaging things that we see today are restrictions on social media because like the rest of the world, Pakistanis are getting a lot of their news and information through um, the internet. And so when internet get, the internet gets pulled <coughs> down or X 
uh, gets throttled as, as it has been now for several weeks. It denies the Pakistani people from getting the kind of diversity of reporting information that they deserve. We are talking to the Pakistani government at the highest level about these issues. We're also working year after year in the trenches with Pakistani civil society to help to train journalists about fact checking, about responsible um, sourcing of their information, about journalistic standards. And what I can also see is while there is censorship, both self and active, we can also see the development of some... This is the same way that the media has given in Pakistan, the restrictions and the restrictions of the social media, which is why people take information from it. But the real problem is that we give Pakistani journalists a lot of money, and we work with them, that you improve your standards, improve your standards, improve your standards, don't say anything, don't say anything. ऐसे फाइनेंस लाएगा बस जो को स्टाइल होता है इसमें उसको डिप्लोमेटिक लैंग्वेज में बता रहा है मैं ये बता रहा हूँ कि बुनियादी तौर पर कहता है कि ये पाकिस्तानी जर्नलिस्ट हैं वो भी ऐसे छोड़ से छाड़ते रहते हैं जिसलिए उनपे अक्सर असर होता है और उनको कंट्रोल कर लेते हैं doing, you know, some outcomes that are beneficial to the values that we uphold here and we want to see in a real active democratic society. I do think it's important for both the administration and the Congress to say loud and clear that we are watching what happens in Pakistan. We're watching closely its human rights record, what it does with respect to religious freedom, and what it's doing on free speech. Uh, I grant you, uh, I don't know that what we say today affects exactly what they're going to do tomorrow, but over time, if we let up on these values, it's going to be worse because they can see that there are no consequences for these violations. Well, uh, my time is expiring. The only thing that I want to uh, leave you with is I, I think we, we have a responsibility to make that concern uh, clearer, more active, uh, and, and seek the outcomes that, that, that we believe in in maintaining our democracy. My time has expired. I yes, yield sir. back to the chair. और पाकिस्तान को सुबह है जिसमें आपको कह रहा है हमारी जिम्मेदारी ये है कि हम वहाँ पर पाकिस्तान में ये देखें हम पाकिस्तान में ये देखें हम कहें कि अपने औरतों को कैसे ट्रीट करते हैं अपने कैदियों को कैसे ट्रीट करते हैं अपने बाकियों और हमसे इतना पैसा लिया हुआ है और उनकी हालात ख़राब होने वाले हैं उनको चाइना से हम कैसे निकालें तो बुनियादी तौर पर दो मैं अब तक जो समझा हूँ दो बुनियादी तौर पर कॉज बनते हैं इस सारे के सारे मामले के कि इस वक्त जो इलेक्शन के रिजल्ट आए हैं उसने इमरान खान साहब को एक पॉपुलर लीडर के तौर पर उभारा है अब वो पॉपुलर लीडर को दबाया तो जा नहीं सकता इसलिए पाकिस्तान की इस पॉपुलर आवाम के साथ जो जो शुरू में रखा है पीपल टू पीपल कॉन्टैक्ट उनको ख़त्म नहीं किया जाता तो कैसे किया जाए तो एक थ्रेट यही होता है कि चीन जो है जो कैम्यूनिज्म में फिर कैम्यूनिज्म के साथ फिर वो मुलद भी हैं जैसे पहले होता था खुदा के मुनकर हैं ये सारा कुछ कर करा के अमेरिकन एड सिस्टेंस कुछ करके पाकिस्तान को दो चीज़ों के लिए तैयार किया जा रहा है एक अफगानिस्तान से लड़ने के लिए ताकि अफगानिस्तान के अंदर वो स्टेबिलिटी ना आए और दूसरा कंटेनमेंट ऑफ चाइना के लिए तभी सवाल हुआ था कि आपने पाकिस्तान को इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन में शामिल क्यों नहीं किया जबकि पाकिस्तान भी किसी धारने में शामिल है हालांकि मेरे सामने रियान सी क्रोकर का बाद में बात करेंगे या कल इस पर तफसीली क्रोकर की वो पूरा पेपर पड़ा हुआ है कि पाकिस्तान की अब जरूरत नहीं रही वो तो इंडिया ने इनको तारे दिखा दिए हैं उनकी फोर्स ने काम ना किया तो इस साल पर आ गए कि अब यहाँ ये बात करें अब ये रिपब्लिकन खन्ना है उनको देखते हैं क्या कह रहे हैं including by confiscating property, destroying documents, and physically abusing individuals. Has U.S. raised these concerns with the government at all, and how is U.S. working with the international community to push back against this policy? Thank you, sir. Uh, we have had discussions with the Pakistani government at the highest levels about these deportations. As you know, as has been well documented, over half a million Afghans have returned to Afghanistan following this effort by the Pakistani government to remove uh, illegal foreigners. From the first day of that process, we have been in touch with the Pakistani government, both about the humanitarian consequences of this mass deportation, but also to try to protect those Afghans who have a pathway to coming to the United States. There are thousands of Afghans who worked with us, who worked with our embassy, 
or our military who <coughs> have issue ko shuru mein bhi sawal pucha gaya tha ke wo jo pakistan ne apne ilake se afghanon ko nikalne ki koshish kiya deport karne ki koshish kiya to us pe aap kya kar rahe hain aur wahan par ek surat hal ban rahi hai to us pe unhone kaha ke asal mein ye wo to wo hain ke jo ke taliban ke regime se bhage us pe bhi usne kaha ke beshumar aise log hain ke jinhone hamari embassies ke sath kaam kiya zar baat hai unke mukhbar bhi the baaki cheeze bhi the aur wo kehte thousand ke hisab se wo log pakistan ke andar hain unki deportation ka koi rasta nahi nikal raha kaise nikale ye bhi ajeeb ho gayi baat hai कौन है जो पाकिस्तान को एक पाकिस्तान से कह के जी इतने लोगों को फ्लाइट लो अमेरिकन आज फ्लाइट्स देखे हैं लेके चले जाएं लेकिन वो एक क्रिएशन करना चाहते हैं एक ऐसी सिचुएशन की जहां वहां भी मसला बनता रहे और यहां भी बनता रहे सेक्रीफाइस डज नॉट गो ऑन नोटिस एट द सेम टाइम वी वेरी मच होप दे वर्क विद यू एन एच सी आर एज दे एंटर दिस नेक्स्ट फेज वेर दे ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट वेदर मोर पीपल आर रिटर्निंग वेदर सम ऑफ दोज हुए रिटर्न आर एबल टू कम बैक to Pakistan and the, those the needs of those refugees are being met. Uh, thank you and, and yes, I've raised this previously with the uh, ambassador uh, Pakistani ambassador as well and uh, look forward to working <coughs> with you uh, to make sure that that happens. Uh, I'll shift gears again. Uh, we touched on this I'll, I'll pick up where Mr. Larler left off uh, Pakistan Iranian relations. You mentioned the escalation uh, the recent escalatory environment the, the strikes in January. Um Where do you see that moving? Do you think the strikes were uh, one-off uh, occurrences or something that uh, could continue to escalate in the future? Sir, as you know, uh, the strikes uh, were not only against Pakistan, they were against three countries simultaneously by Iran. It, it is <coughs> reprehensible and irresponsible for Iran to lash out Iran against ke aur Pakistan ki sarhad ke upar hamla aur uske baad Pakistan ki taraf se missile attack ke bare mein wahi jawab hai Daniel Lusa ka jo ke unhone pehle bhi diya tha ki Iran ne sirf Pakistan ke sath nahi kiya balki Sham mein bhi aur aapko yaad hoga Arbil ke ilake mein bhi unhone American ada athkane ke nazdeek unhone ye attack kiya tha ab wahi jawab de rahe hain aur wo basically main aapko andaaza ho raha hai ki jis puri session mein ye jo raha hai ki Pakistan ko hum region se kaise isolate karke Pakistan ko ek American base के तौर पे कन्वर्ट कर सकते हैं और उसमें अगर चाहें कि पाकिस्तान की फौज और इमरान खान का कोई तल्ल आपस में ठीक हो जाएं अगर नहीं होते तो कोई और तरीका किया जाए लेकिन अब देखें जो ये बात तो की है उन्होंने कि अम्बेसडर जाके मिल किया है अब जब अम्बेसडर जाके मिल किया है तो क्या इमरान खान साहब से बरामद होगा जो कि इतने अरसे से लोग बाकी लोग नहीं बरामद कर सकते अमेरिकन अम्बेसडर क्या बरामद करेगा मैटर्स स्पेशली इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ आर कंसर्न आर म्यूचुअल कंसर्न of a uh, nuclear proliferation in Iran's nuclear program. Sir, we have warned them about our red lines, legislative, but also in terms of uh, how we cooperate with Pakistan. If they get into bed with Iran, it'll be very serious for our relationship. Okay, we need to reiterate that again and again and again. With that, I yield back. Thank you very much, Congressman Brad Schneider of Illinois. We now proceed to Congressman Corey Kassar, uh, Greg Kassar of Texas. Thank you, Chair, and thanks also to the ranking member for having me here today. Uh, Mr. Liu, I'm sure you're aware I led a letter alongside 30 of my colleagues here in Congress to the State Department as well as to the President. You've got it right there, uh, talking about credible allegations of election rigging in the Pakistani elections, and we urged that the administration withhold recognition of the new government in Pakistan until a credible and transparent investigation on election interference had been conducted. I know that the US embassy congratulated Mr. Sharif quote on his assumption of the office of prime minister but I haven't seen a statement yet from the state department itself so just so we're clear at this point yes or no has the US officially recognized the new government in Pakistan uh, representative Kesar I would like to answer with the yes or no the the actual answer is a little more complicated if you'll allow me uh, the the government of the United States we don't actually go around recognizing or withholding recognition of new governments that's not something we do anywhere around the world w what we do do is we decide whether we're going to engage with a government um and so yes you have seen um, actions by our ambassador our embassy uh, we are kaise rahe yaar jo bhi aap samajh le unhone kaha hai ki mujhe pas credible allegations hain ki wahan par bahut zyada rigging hui hai aur elections kaab hue hain to aapne apna shabash sharif ko mubarakbaad to di hai lekin kya aapne usko recognize bhi kiya hai 
तो उन्होंने कहा नहीं हम लोग रिकगनाइज वैसे नहीं करते हम तो बस रूटीन है काम कर सकते हैं क्या नहीं कर सकते बस वो सेंटर का भी अंदाजा ही नहीं होता वो रिकगनाइज वाली बात नहीं होती वो वैसे ही होता है चलती रहती है रिकगनाइज तो नई गवर्नमेंट की होती है अब जॉन मेनी ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव हैव प्रपोज वी हैव सेड पब्लिकली एंड प्राइवेटली दैट वी वांट टू सी ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड क्रेडिबल इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ इलेक्शन इरेगुलरिटीज वी हैव कॉल्ड फॉर accountability for mass detentions of people in the opposition and we have said loudly and clearly that military trials for civilians accused of crimes after May 9th is not in keeping with international norms i appreciate that and so in ye other cases hum baatein hain ki unhone kaha hai ki humne kaha hai ki transparent inquiry ke general lu keh raha hai state department keh raha hai और उसके बाद जो जो मैस डिटेंशन हुई हैं जो इतने सारे लोगों को पकड़ के लिया गया है इनके ऊपर जो है बाकायदा आप इसको इसको ख़त्म करें और तीसरी अहम बात यह है कि मिलिट्री ट्रायल जो है वो किसी तौर पर आर्मी कवानीन के खिलाफ है और इसको आप ख़त्म करें then, then in this case, and I would urge that we continue to speak with the level of moral clarity that we have um, in other situations. My, uh, but I appreciate your your recognition and speaking out here today about how it's not okay for us to be having journalists jailed for twitter to get shut down for there to be um this continued uh very clear uh to me um interference in democracy given the credible allegations of fraud and rigging what gives you confidence that this government will have the democratic legitimacy necessary not only for the interests of the pakistani people but for the interests of the united states kitna shandar sawal hai senator ka ki usne kaha ki safi jail mein ट्विटर जो है बंद है और आप क्या समझते हैं कि आपको ये इस पर इतम है कि ये कॉमर जो है ये पाकिस्तानी अवाम को अच्छा सर्व कर सकेंगे आप क्या समझते हैं कि इस तरह की हुकूमत जो है ये पाकिस्तानी अवाम के मफाद में है अमेरिका के बाद बात होगी जो है वो बने तो उसके अंदर वो है अपना प्रोसेस हो तो फिर बेहतर हो Ambassador said the Pakistan's awaiting a decision from the US on increasing military sales and financing. Yes or no, are there ongoing conversations about increasing military assistance to Pakistan? Uh no, uh ongoing conversation about large scale increases. No. Usne pucha hai ki Pakistan ko aap Mazid Fauji imdad de rahe hain in ilaz ke andar hame bataye waade to usne kaha filhal to mujhe bilkul nahi pata. To ensure that the aid we send is not used for any of these abuses that you've identified. Sir, absolutely. There is very close monitoring of where our military assistance goes around the world, including to Pakistan. For example, the F-16s sold to Pakistan over 40 years ago have active U.S. technical security teams monitoring their use every day. Thank you. Because I am just telling you that your issue is that there is no abuse to be done. So he said, "We have F-16s. We are seeing them." Yes, we have identified those. Thank you. Thank you for your clear answers. Thank you for. um for being here through this hearing and i hope that we can uh after this hearing continue the work of making sure that we actually fully investigate the election and that we actually make sure people are let out of jail that were put in there that, sh- that um unfairly because democracy in pakistan of course will serve the people of pakistan but it is so clearly in the united states interest i started out on this seeing the failures we had in latin america of prioritizing military relationships over democratic relationships and it never served us there and it won't serve us very well so thank you so much for the baat ki usne usne kaha hai ki hum yahan yahan isliye ikatthe hue hain ki hum dekhe ki kitne zyada is waqt hum logon ko jail se bahar nikal sakte hain aur halat kitne ka aur main aapko batau ki aap ek baat yahan par tay kare ki kya aap apni tarjeehat pe fauj ko upar rakhte hain ya jamhooriyat ko upar rakhte hain been having this discussion uh, between Uh, several members bipartisan uh, discussions on on this very important issue so i very much appreciate the ability to wave on today um and uh obviously have uh some concerns uh about what has happened in in the past uh few weeks and months um and uh appreciate uh, uh you being here mr lu thank you for uh your time today um these questions have probably been asked but I, but i want to uh, ask them again um as a uh, as an interested citizen as somebody who believes in free and fair elections um and really just want to get a general assessment regarding the fairness of the elections in in Pakistan um what your your general thought is before i go into some deeper questions 
Sir, we, we uh, share the view of local election observers who have in summary said um, this was a competitive and orderly, orderly election, but they note irregularities in the compilation of the results that should be fully investigated. Do you believe that the Waqi Shaf Shafaf election was the same as the routine election, but when we have an investigation, we have to say that what is the most bad thing happened? Did the interference happen? Sir, we have expressed, and I've said this multiple times today, serious concerns about the pre-election environment, violence that occurred, terrorism and political violence. <coughs> we have expressed concern about the failure to uh, register individual candidates and political parties, the mass arrests of those in <laughs> opposition. <laughs> کہ پاکہ جو ان کو سمبل نہیں دیا گیا اس کے بعد پیپری پور لگنگ بہت زیادہ ہو بھی ہے سیٹس بہت ہوئے ہیں صافیوں کو بند کیا گیا ہے باقی چیزیں would definitely like to hear more examples but without those examples of interference I'm not sure if you're going to use that term but please tell me what adjective you would use to describe it and without those things having happened would the election results be different سر بہت ہی خوبصورت سوال اس نے کہا اگر یہ سب کچھ نہ ہوتا سمبل مل جاتا اس طرح لوگوں کو بند نہ کیا جاتا قید نہ کیا جاتا صافیوں پر پیر نہیں جاتا تو کیا الیکشن کا رزلٹ مختلف نہ ہوتا ریگلیریٹیز آر سبسینشیٹ شوڈ ری رن الیکشنز ویر دیرز بین انٹرفیرنس اور دیتس دی وی دی پاکستانی پیپل ویل نو اٹس پرابلی ان لائکلی دی امریکن ڈپلمیٹ ویل نو ویدر اور ہاو دی ریزلٹس ویڈ ٹرن آؤٹ بٹ دیل ٹرن آؤٹ دی وی دی شوڈ اف the election commission reruns um, constituencies. What is the Department of State doing to urge Pakistan, the government of Pakistan, the, those that govern the elections to do just that? Sir, we have made very clear public and private statements. We have said so clearly. Elections with integrity. So you believe these should be fully investigated and adjudicated? Yes, sir. He said that you understand that it should be very much more detail with the investigation. So he said that this is the way of the United States of America that we should be able to investigate it. Not decide to rerun their elections. We have enjoyed 76 years of partnership with this country. It will be an impediment to our relationship if Pakistan does not have a democratic process that upholds its own constitution. It will re retard our ability to have the type of relationship we want in security matters, on business fronts, and people to people. All of that suffers. If you don't want to talk about Pakistan and the election, then we want to go to Pakistan for 70 years. We deal with them in the form of 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 the form. Is the State Department monitoring reports of transnational repression made by Pakistani Americans? And if so, what, is, what steps are the State Department taking to address these topics? S sir, we are tracking transnational repression around the world, including with respect to allegations made about Pakistan. Uh, we are looking very closely at the examples offered. If we find that they are substantiated, we will address them. یہ ٹرانسنیشنل ریپریشن جو ہے یہ نیاب لا جو ہے کانگریس کے اندر تکمین آیا ہے اور اس کے ساتھ ساتھ وہاں پر بھی آیا ہے کرنڈا میں تو پاس ہو چکا ہوا ہے اور یہ اس وقت بہت زیادہ اہم ایشو ہے کہ امریکن جو نیشنلز ہیں ان کو باقی باقیات کے اندر ریپریشن کیسے ہو سکتی ہے فر اگزمپل ایک پاکستانی وہاں پر رہتا ہے تو اس کے باب آپ کو یہاں سے اٹھا لیا جائے اس کے بھائیوں کے پر آخر آپ کے پر اس کو ظلم کیا جائے اس کا کاروبار بند کر دیا جائے یا اس کو کوئی روک لیا جائے تو یہ انہوں نے ٹرانسنیشنل ریپریشن کا جو لاؤ ہے وہ پیسے پروباسوس میں آپ تھوڑی دلوں میں پاس ہونے والے ہیں کینڈا میں پاس ہو چکا ہے یہ سوال اس نے اٹھایا ہے کہ آپ کیا کر رہے ہو ٹرانس نیشنل ریپریشن کے اوپر اس نے کہا ہم پاکستان کے علاوہ تمام دنیا کے ملکوں کے اندر کر رہے ہیں بہرحال یہ میٹنگ ختم ہو گئی اس میں بہت اہم ترین سوالات اٹھائے گئے ہیں اور میں لگتا یہی ہے کہ اس وقت امریکہ کے اندر یہ کنسرن ہے بہت اہم اور وہ کنسرن ہی ہی جو میں کافی پہلے سے کہتا آ رہا ہوں کہ پاکستان اس وقت کراس روڈز پہ کھڑا ہے اور کراس روڈ وہی ہے کہ جو امریکہ کی جو مطالبہ تھا عمران خان سے اس وقت کہ کیا تم ہمارے لیے وہ بیسز جو ہیں وہ پروائیڈ کر سکتے ہو جس کے ساتھ ہم افغانستان
زبان کے اندر اس کی اس کو چیک کر سکیں وہ لفظ سے چیک ہی کرتے ہیں کیونکہ سمجھتے ہیں کہ ہم وہاں سے ٹیررزم کی ایکسپورٹ نہ ہو سکے لیکن عمران خان کے اس سے پہلے ہی انہوں نے انڈیا کا جو کوئٹ بنایا تھا جس کے بارے میں آج سوال ہوا ہے کہ انڈیا کو جو آپ نے انڈیا انڈو انڈو پیسیفک ریجن کی اسٹریٹجی بناتے ہوئے یعنی آپ اندازہ کریں کہ وہ پینٹاگون کی جو اسٹریٹجی ہے کہ جو دو ہزار انیس کے نومبر میں آئی تھی اس کے اندر پاکستان کا نقشے کا نام ہی کو نہیں پندرہ ملک تھے جو ایکورس جو گروپ بنتا تھا جس میں ہر دنیا کا ملک سری لنکا بھی شامل تھا پاکستان نہیں تھا اور یہ میرے سامنے وہ جو اس کی اس, اس کی رپورٹ پڑی ہوئی ہے ریان سی کروکر کی بڑی فیمس رپورٹ ہے جس میں انہوں نے کہا تھا کہ اب پاکستان جو ہے اس کو ہم ویسے دور دور سے سلام سلام کریں گے لیکن ویسے اس طرح کی صورتحال ہماری جو ہے وہ نہیں ہو سکتی لیکن اس کے بعد اب سمجھ سمجھ آ رہی ہے کہ چائنا کا جو ہے ایک دم انفلوئنس بنتا جا رہا ہے کیونکہ چائنا نے وہاں پر رشیا کے اندر اور رشیا کے پوٹن کے جیتنے کے بعد ایران کے اندر اور پھر اس کے بعد افغانستان کے اندر جو ریلیشن شپ بنایا ہے اس سے ایک صورتحال بن گئی ہے اور پہلے شروع کے سوال ہی ایسے ہوئے ہیں کہ ہم کیسے پاکستان کو کیمونسٹ پارٹی کیمونسٹ ٹھیک آپ اندازہ کریں کمیونسٹ پارٹی سی ایس کمیونسٹ پارٹی آف چائنا سی پی سی وہ بولتے رہے اس سے کہتے اور وہ یہ نہیں کہتے رہے کہ یہ جناب یہ کوئی کسی چائنیز حکومت نے کیا ہے پھر اس کے بعد انہوں نے کہا کہ پاکستان اس وقت بہت بری حالت میں ہے ایگزیکٹلی وہی لگتا ہے کہ جو جان کرنس کی جو پوٹیں پڑھتے تھے کہ ایک ملک کو اتنا زیادہ قرضے کے اندر شکار کر لو اتنا زیادہ اس کو ڈبو دو اس کے ستر فیصد جو ہے وہ اپنے پیسے جو سو اگر سو روپیہ کماتا ہے تو ستر روپئے صرف اس کو قرضے کی قسط دینے کے پڑے گی پھر اس کو بولو اب آ جاؤ بھائی جان اب بتاؤ تم کیا کرنا کر, کر سکتے ہو اب تمہیں اگر ہم پیسے دیتے ہیں اگر تمہیں اس کا پاؤں پہ کھڑا کرتے ہیں اب تمہارا اگر ہم قرض کسی کے طور پہ معاف کرتے ہیں تو تم کس کس کے ساتھ دوستی توڑو گے اور کس کس کے مقابلے میں کھڑے ہو گے تو پاکستان کو انہوں نے لگتا ہے کہ اس ریجن کے اندر تھانے دار کے طور پہ منتخب کر لیا ہے ایک ایسا تھانے دار جس کی ٹانگیں کانپ رہی ہوں گی جس کے پاس پیسے نہیں ہوں گے اور اس کے پاس یہی ہوگا کہ کبھی آ کے وہ کہیں گے کہ جو کہ یہ یہ تم ٹھیک نہیں کر رہے ہو کبھی کہیں گے یہ نہیں مجھے اچھی طرح یاد ہے رابن رافیل جب ملا عمر کے ساتھ مذاکرات کرنے لگ گئی تھی تو اٹھائیس لسٹ لمبی لے کے آئی تھی عورتوں کو تعلیم دو گے تو فلاں دو گے تو فلاں اس نے کہا اٹھاؤ جاؤ ہم انڈیپینڈنٹ ساورن کنٹریز ہیں اور پھر اس کے بعد جب یونیکال کی نیگوسیشن کرنے کے لیے آئے تھے تو لیٹ ہو گئے تھے تو انہوں نے کہا ہم نے تو پہلے کر لیا تھا تو اس کو تو انہوں نے لپیٹ لیا تھا وہ کہا اٹھائیس کے اٹھائیس مطالبات ختم اب ہمارے ساتھ ایگریمنٹ کریں یونیکال کے ساتھ پاکستان کی اس وقت ضرورت ان کو ہے ورنہ پاکستان سے امریکہ گیا تو ریجن سے آؤٹ ہو گیا لیکن وہ چاہتے یہ ہیں کہ ہم اگر پیسے دیں پاکستان میں کسی ایسی اتھارٹی کو جس کی لوگ نہیں مانیں جس کو جس کے خلاف لوگ سڑکوں پہ جلوس نکال رہے ہوں تو پھر کیا کریں گے اور کچ چاہتے یہی ہیں کہ ایسا طریقے بن جائے کہ فوج کی لسام بھی جسے کہتے ہیں نہ مرے لاٹھی بھی نہیں ٹوٹے یعنی فوج بھی ساتھ ساتھ چلتی رہے اور پاکستان کے ساتھ عمران خان کی پاپولیرٹی جو ہے اس کو بھی ساتھ چلے اور ہم چائنا سے بھی خدا حافظ کہہ لیں یہ اتنا بڑا جسے کہتے ہیں ٹال آرڈر ہے اتنی بڑی خواہشات ہیں جو ہر کسی کے دماغ میں آ رہی ہیں کوئی کوئی کہہ رہا ہے کہ جی سویپ کر نہیں کرنا چاہتے تو کرو یا فریدی کو لے کے آؤ کوئی کہہ رہا ہے پاکستان کے اندر جو امریکن بیٹھے ہوئے ہیں ان کے طرف دیکھو کوئی کہہ رہا ہے جینڈر یعنی مجھے اس وقت اندازہ ہوا ہے کہ تین چار سینیٹرس کے علاوہ باقی سارے جو ہیں وہ ہمارے طرح نیلے ہوتے ہیں وہاں پر بھی اور وہی اسی طرح کی گفتگو کرتے رہتے ہیں جو ان کو سنائی جاتی ہے جو کبھی کسی نے اس کو پمفلٹ دے دیا یا کسی نے جاتے ہوئے بتا دیا یہ سوال ضرور پوچھنا وہ کہتا ہے اچھا اچھا میں پوچھوں گا کیمرہ شیمرہ آن ہوگا لیکن بنیادی سوال جو ہے ڈورا لوٹ کو بلایا گیا ہے اس لیے بلایا گیا ہے کہ بھائی جان آپ نے ڈیڑھ دو سال کے اندر جو پاکستان کے اندر امریکہ کو تم نے آؤٹ کرنے کے لیے پورا بندوبست کیا تھا آپ اس کو اسٹیٹ ڈپارٹمنٹ اس کو ریپیئر کریں کرو تم کیا کرتے ہو بھیجو امبیسڈر کو عمران خان کے پاس جو ہے پاس کرو پرائرٹائز مت کرو تم کسی طور پر کہ پرائرٹی جو ہے فوج کی زیادہ ہے بہرحال اس پہ ان کل صبح تفصیل سے گفتگو کریں گے اجازت دیجیے تراب